name is Sid, and this is my friend. Big T. <laughs> Wait, Big T stands for Big Trace, and also Big <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I don't see why you call that. Yes, well, I will show you in a few months. I love your pink little furry <laughs> yeah, that's ghetto. No, well, that we don't call it that. We're, we're, the polite thing to call a rabbit's pink little fur <laughs> is, in fact, the raisinator. <laughs> Have you ever seen? Hey, will you stop looking at my arse? <laughs> Yours is quite nice, though. Do you do squats? <laughs> I do something much bigger than raisins. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be a classy show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very nice for you. I, can I touch your moustache? Please. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> No, no, I meant that one. Can I touch it? Ooh, it feels like a lady rabbits. <laughs> I love rabbits. They you taste, eat rabbits, don't you? They taste like chicken. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 rabbit, get your hands off me! <laughs> when I said that, I meant kiss me. Okay. <laughs> That is the first interspecies puppet gay kiss. <laughs> Take that, groundbreaking other TV shows. <laughs> Join us, why don't you, after the break when <clears throat> there'll be less puppets. <laughs> you got, what? You got hair in your mouth, I yeah, guess. No. <laughs> with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Expedia, where you book matters. Don't make me do show business finger pistols any more than I have. You're awesome, and you're awesome, and you're awesome. <sighs> That's right, I'm a grown ass man that points at my nipples for money. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is because it's a great day for us here at CBS, the Tiffany Network, because uh, Jeff Probst has signed on for two more seasons of Survivor. It was very exciting for us. Uh, if you're keeping track, Jeff has been around for 24 seasons, 400 contestants, and one pair of cargo shorts. <laughs> The tribe has spoke. <laughs> and they've said... <laughs> the actress
news, uh, Julianne Moore is going to play Sarah Palin in a new HBO movie. It was apparently a very simple audition. Julianne said, I absolutely know nothing about politics, and the producers are like, perfect. <laughs> Now, it's a great day uh, for America because it's a great day for the American space program. Earlier today, the shuttle Discovery made its last ever landing. People uh, near Cape Canaveral in Florida said they heard a sonic boom, uh, followed by hundreds of old people going, Where the hell? <laughs> 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 That's what I'm going to be like when I get old. When I get old? What do you mean now, Grandpa? Yeah! No, when I get old, I'm going to be one of them really dirty old people that says really dirty things to the, the ladies in the supermarket. Like an old grandpa going, ah, ah, and, see, like, and they go, he's adorable, isn't he? I think I'm kind of like that now. I'm completely non-threatening. Or am I? Ooh, repeat slowly. What, repeat slowly? So oh dear. Well, anyway, I'm talking about the space shuttle, Jack. Well, you know what I think is amazing about this shuttle? It's amazing how precise NASA is. Like, after a two week space mission that covers space mission, <laughs> slowly turning into Sean Connery. <laughs> after a two week space mission that covered 150 million miles. <laughs> Today's landing, it was a mere 17 seconds behind schedule. Do you hear that, Continental Airlines? <laughs> they went to space and got back 17 seconds late. You can't get the <laughs> bar back. CBS Kids. CBS Kids. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, when the space shuttle lands, it doesn't have the luxury of the engine power. It can't go round again. It comes in so fast, the tires actually are designed to explode when landing so that it slows the thing down. And the tires are made from synthetic rubber, the same rubber that's used for other stuff, you know. <laughs> Blow up dolls. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you can't, you can't have sex with a tire. Or can you? <laughs> Call me Michelin Man. <laughs> One, one reason that the, uh, the NASA uh, is ending the shuttle program is because of the technology is 40 years old. Yet compared to this studio, it's like that sophisticated computer from Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a picture of that sophisticated computer from Jeopardy? There it is. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, during its first shuttle mission in the 1980s, the onboard computer has less than a, a, a megabyte of memory. Think about that. That's like, that's like going to space riding on a Pac-Man arcade game. <laughs> I rode one of them once one night when I was drunk. <laughs> I remember how scared the ghosts were. <laughs> you, know, you know, you can eat them when they flash. Call me Blinky and, uh, and bring the Michelin Man. Anyway, another, another reason the shuttle program is ending is NASA is short on cash. I think it's a shame that NASA is underfunded because space exploration inspires the youth. It inspires, who, who's going to inspire the next generation now? That who, what, the Jersey Shore? That's what's going to be? <laughs> like, Mommy, when I grow up, I want to be an orange prostitute. <laughs> Anyway, once NASA gets out of the manned space business, private companies will take over space travel. It means that uh, it's just a matter of time before there's a reality show in space. They'll take celebrities and put them in a rocket. But is this a good idea, I ask myself? Do I really want to see Kim Kardashian's ass in zero gravity? <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's get on that. <laughs> anyway, uh, once the private companies take over the space travel, it won't be long before space is polluted by advertising. I don't like the ad idea of advertising in space. When I look out, up at the night sky, I want to contemplate my role in the universe. I don't want to read about boner pills. <laughs> I already know everything I need to know. Oh, dear. No, everything's fine. <laughs> Thanks to boner pills. <laughs>
<laughs> so let's get this straight. I'm a pervert who enjoys boner pills and having sex with tires. That's who I am tonight? <laughs> I think I've revealed too much. Anyway, some people want to revive spa the space program by going back to the moon, but I don't think that's a good idea. See, me, I'm this kind of guy. When I've done something once, I don't want to do it again. Once, that's it. Do we have a picture of Paul McCartney? There you are. Right? <laughs> Anyway, it's uh, commercial break time, Jeff. Screw commercials. I want more Craig. <laughs> Wait a minute now. I, thanks for that complete lie, but... No kidding. Yeah. I mean, we live on commercials. Commercials are our lifeblood. Without commercials, there's no America. Bingo. <laughs> Just admit it. You built me for six. <laughs> Then why did I install a tire? Oh. Naughty. Yeah. Nah, we're only kidding. It's all meant and fun. Uh, CBS cares. CBS cares. See, that proves it. We'll be right back. <laughs> was never seen again. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, as opposed to everything else on this show. <laughs> Time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Craig, let's stop and smell the tweets. <laughs> yes, let's do that! Let's see where we go. This is from Tanner in Pittsburgh, uh, who says, Hey, Craig, I've been teaching my two-year-old son uh, how to whistle at pretty girls and blow kisses. My wife has tried to discourage this, but where's the harm, right? You're right, Tanner. <laughs> uh, you got a two-year-old to whistle, you got a job in the circus right there, right? <laughs> Although, I have to say that uh, my son, my son, when, uh, my oldest boy, when he was uh, about oh, maybe seven or eight months old, his mother was uh, changing him in a, you know, in the fold-down table in one of the ladies' restrooms in, in a park one way. And, uh, you know, she was just, like, fixing his diaper. And uh, he was lying like this. Uh, <laughs> and his diaper's getting changed, right? And just as, like, his, you know, his business is all out, and it's all cleaned up. This is true. Like, his business is all out, and he's just been cleaned up, and a really sexy girl <laughs> walked in, and he went, Hi. <laughs> that awesome? Yeah. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Tanner. <laughs> All uh, right, this is from Kate in Newfoundland in Kentucky who says, uh, Dear Craig, why does the expression get off scot-free, where does the expression get off scot-free come from? Does it offend Scottish people? <laughs> um, no, I don't, not really. I never really thought, get off scot-free. <laughs> I just thought, yeah, I can't, uh, can't yeah, yeah. In your in bed. my bed, yeah. This is from Dana in Chester in New York, who says, Dear Craig and Jeffrey, oh, it's for you as well, Jeff. Oh, dear. She says, uh, Do you think politics has replaced philosophy or vice versa? Bulls. <laughs> if you go to a commercials, when you come back, I'll try and think up some decent... Crikey. ...say, but... <laughs> 
I've got to be honest with you, I don't think it's going to happen. But we do have an excellent guest or two. Oprah? Yes. <laughs> no, Oprah's not here. <laughs> well, she's not. I don't know why you would think. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Everybody. First guest tonight has got it going on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> I kind of went to the bathroom a bit when I did that. Uh, he's a, a giant country music star. He's acting in a new film called The Lincoln Lawyer, which is in theaters March the 18th. Take a look at this. Counselor, what can I do for you, big man? Our boy Harold called from the pen and said you're stalling his case. Do you see some more green? I don't get paid. I don't work. We paid you. 5000 That's long gone, Eddie. It's time to refill the tank. What? Another five grand? Ten. Either pay me or go with a public defender. Ain't you gonna count it? I just did. <laughs> Please welcome Trace Atkins, everybody. Hey, big time, how's it going? Um, uh, awesomer than the last time I was here. Yeah. I hardly would have thought that possible, Trace. I know. I can't believe you're, in, you're doing the movie stay with Matthew McConaughey, honey. Pronounce his name correctly. He gets mad if you don't. How do you know that? Because I mispronounced his name in a song that I did, and uh, he let me know that I did, that I mispronounced his name. Yeah, well... I said McConaughey because it rhymed. I had an E rhyme and... <laughs> Well, what did so, you rhyme it with? McConaughey, he's... Uh, Texas, sure. Yeah, right. Doesn't some knee, I don't no, know. No, no, yeah. McConaughey, he showed his knee, like, going on, like Donkey Kong, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. Well, that's so I didn't, have a, I didn't have an A rhyme, so I didn't say McConaughey. I said McConaughey, and he was... Oh, man, he's got to lighten up about that. <laughs> or else he'll never go to a Starbucks. I go into a Starbucks and I say, they say, what name? And I say, Craig. And then they go, oh, thanks, Paul. And then they give me the thing. <laughs> I can't imagine that happens to you much. No, you're not mistaken for other people often, are you? I don't go into Starbucks. Why? I just don't like that foo-foo coffee. <laughs> I don't, I, because I don't want to stand behind somebody ordering a Tai Chi. <laughs> tai Chi is a martial arts trick. You can't get a Tai Chi in Starbucks. Tai Chi, Jackie Chan, vanilla. No, it's not a Tai You know, it just irritates. What's that coming to go? Oh, man. I don't know. Just go up there and get a cup of, I want a cup of coffee. <laughs> well. Well, I don't need, I don't want no cream or sugar, just a cup of coffee, please. Why is it everything? And, I'll, and I don't ever say Verdi or whatever it is. I always walk up there and I go, give me a big ass cup of coffee. Well, you know, Verdi is just Italian for big ass. You didn't know that? I'm not Italian or gay, how would I know that? Every time you come here, I start to feel more and more like a, 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 an effete showbiz dandy. I can't you can't help you right with that, you've got very kind of... You are what you are, I can't help you out. Oh, come on. I saw you in Nashville. It was all right, wasn't it? I love it. We had a good time in Nashville. I right? did, man. Yeah, you yeah. were funny, funny, funny. I know. Y'all should see his stand-up. It's much funnier than much what funnier. he's done here. I, uh, I had a great time in Nashville. I loved that place. So the, I that's, too. The street down there where you can buy a hat. 
They got that big street, you can buy a hat, you can get drunk and ride a bull without moving. It's a lot like heaven. Yeah. When you were starting out, did you play, because there's a lot of guys playing in these little bars around there, and they were good too. That's what I was amazed by. And they did are. you start out doing that? I did. I played clubs uh, about five years without a day gig, you know, just playing the club circuit in the Southwest. And then when I moved to Nashville, I played clubs for about three years there before I got a record deal. So, yeah, I did my time in the beer joint. It seemed to me like some of these uh, musicians that were drinking. They were? Yeah. I noticed that as time went on, because I don't drink anymore, and as time went on, some of the playing got a little sloppier than it had been earlier in the year. What they were counting on was that you were matching them. Ah, you drink. see, yeah, of course. The audience would be reaching the same level of drunkenness as the band. You, sir, are a professional musician. Yes. Yeah, sure, clearly you're I always had, I always had very happy club owners because I would challenge people, you know, to drink as much as I did from the stage, you know. Yeah. And so I sold a lot of liquor. Yeah. Which is really the business that you're in when you're playing beer joints, you're, you're not in the music business, you're in the liquor business, so. Well, it's the same in late night TV. I'm not in late night TV, I'm just selling boner pills to lonely people. <laughs> CBS cares. Mm. Yeah, I know. You on tour right now? Are you, uh, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey! <laughs> well, I'm there. Ooh, uh, eat slowly. <laughs> You know I hate you. Thanks. Yeah, no, I know you hate him. Yeah, yeah. Be, car be careful, Jeff. He'll hurt you. Am <laughs> <laughs> uh, I on tour? Uh, yeah. Not really. I thought you were out touring around and doing the thing with the puppets and the, the, all that stuff. Nah, I'm, do I'm doing a few shows here and there. We'll really crank it up, you know, around April. So like ne that's next month, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a <laughs> I took the winter off this year. It's the first time I've not done a winter tour in four or five years, but I just told him I'm not doing a winter tour this year. I don't want to do it. You did that movie probably as well with your movie star buddies going all Hollywood. I did that back in September. Really? Mm-hmm. That Matthew McConaughey's a fine-looking man, isn't he? <laughs> He don't do it for me. Yeah, really. no, come on. Come on. He's, he's a good guy, man. He is a good guy. He's I, I got to tell nice you, guy. you know, he... He really was very gracious to me because he, he wanted me to do well because he knew I didn't know what I was doing, you know. So he, he took his time and rehearsed those things with me, and I appreciated him doing that. He didn't have to do that. No, he didn't. No, no. But then again, you would have crushed him like a buck. <laughs> hey, and uh, uh, I was not, well, it's not too often, you know, that I'm in a situation like that where I question my manhood. But, dude, those were the real, those bikers were the real thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you don't mess around with that. No, I know my place. I know when to go, hey, hey. And they were all covered in tats. And if you saw on the thing, I don't have any tats. Well, I got one tattoo, but you're never going to see it. <laughs> you say that. With your voice, but you say something different with your eyes. <laughs> I love doing that uh -oh. to you. It drives you crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> you can make me about as uncomfortable as any man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I see that as my role in life, actually. To torment me. Yeah, I got, torment, I got you. kids and wives for that, man. Yeah, I know, I know. You got a new grandkid, didn't you? I do. Oh, that's lovely. Congratulations. Little boy, finally. Yeah, yeah I got a little boy. Yeah, because I thought you just had girls. You had like 12 girls or something? I got five, yeah. Five, five yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. One of them finally had a son, so. You, you got a new boy. I got a new boy, yeah, yeah. I got two boys. Thanks for a round of applause. We both had sex with our wives. I evidently have had a lot more than you have. But... <laughs> you should take some more of those boner pills. <laughs> All right. That's enough. We'll be right with Trace Atkins, everyone.
welcome back to the show where I'm not sure what's going on tonight. <laughs> Which makes it very different from every other night when I'm usually on top of it. <laughs> My next guest is in a new show called Body of Proof, which premieres March 29th on ABC. <laughs> Dr. Hunt. Ernest? I'm a doctor too, you know. And yet no one calls me that. I'm strange. I understand you ordered an ANA panel on a suicide. What are you doing ordering a thousand dollar autoimmune test on a guy who blew his brains out? Do you know why he blew his brains out? No, I do not. Neither do I. But now we both know it had nothing to do with his immune system. Look, I'm deputy chief medical examiner. The entire budget of this office is on my shoulders. You keep pulling that crap, I don't care how many friends you have. I should think I have friends. Please welcome Wendell Middlebrooks, everybody. Wendell Middlebrooks. Very nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, Bob. You, you look doing? good. I like your top. I like the. Uh... Well, did you not want me to wear one? What no, you... no. I'm glad that you wore a top, and I'm glad oh. you wore such an attractive top. It's knitwear, and it has that kind of. Are you a Longhorns fan? Is uh, well, I'm from Texas. Well, so there you go. Yeah. That's enough. Hey, everything bigger and better in Texas, yeah, Bobby. Don't shush them. Well, it's just that they're sitting in lesbian rows, so and now we know that. Hey, that's all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and, that's what you want. And the problem is? No, there's no problem. Okay, I'm right. just making and sure. No, there it's all right. No, it's good. <laughs> this show looks very good, whether you're playing a doctor and uh, doctoring around and stuff. Well, thank you very much. I am. I'm trying to play a doctor, at least. Yes. You know. Uh, do you know anything about medicine at all, or are you just... Uh, well, what they tell me on the show, I do. Well, that's fine. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that's, that's all it. you need to know. That is. Is there anyone in your family in the medical profession? No, uh, I have a sister who's a nurse. Well, there you are, then. That, that, that solves it, and that's who I call when I have questions. Have you called her yet? I've called her several times. <laughs> and he's... Are they questions about the show or your own personal medical difficulties? Well, both. You know, that's that's the plus of having a sister who's a nurse. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this? Do yeah, I mean, if I have questions about the show, I call her. But also, if I have questions about, you know, something with me, I call her. Well, wh what's wrong with you then? Well, nothing's wrong with me now. <laughs> At least not yet, but if you keep messing with me... Well, that, just... Right. I'm just asking. Yeah. I'm just wondering if you had a sort of an interesting or amusing uh, medical condition, which I could poke fun at. Yes, I'm healthy. Yeah. In your past. Look here. Don't tell Jeff, don't start with me. No, I no, no, don't. Uh, uh, Texans don't care for you, Jeff. Uh, yeah, we're, yeah. Not, uh, we're not feeling Jeff. <laughs> he don't know. I will pull the plug. Yeah, no. Okay. You will. Yeah. You will. No, yeah, you're right. What part, where are you from in Texas? Houston? Fort Worth. Fort Worth? Yeah. I love Fort Worth. Knock it off. <laughs> I love Fort Worth. It's not Dallas. It's Fort Worth. It is yeah, Fort yeah, Worth. Yeah, right. There's a you, difference. 45 yeah. minute difference. For, and, and the airport's right in the middle, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's why they so call it Dallas. So you fly in, and then if you go smart, you go to Fort Worth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, the only time I've ever seen uh, <coughs> a cowboy riding a horse down a street when it mm -hmm. wasn't a parade was in Fourth Worth. Yeah, I, I, so to the so, stockyards. Yeah, yeah just right now, just right down the street. Every the 21st day, century, Mom. just right down the street. Yeah, there. man, we believe in history, so we love it in Texas. Do you do the barbecue? Uh, uh, man, look at me. <laughs> what you think I'm eating? Salads or something? No, no. I, <laughs> Yes, I do the barbecue, yeah, I like man. The barbecue. I come from a family who can barbecue, so really? I throw down, Bubba. What do you do? Do you do the uh, you do the uh, turkeys? You smoke the turkeys? We smoke the turkeys. Oh, we that. smoke the briskets. We smoke the ribs, the sausage, the chicken wings, the legs, whatever else piece of meat you can kill. We smoke it. You any good at it? Yeah, well, I'm good at eating it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, okay. I'm glad you no, like no, it. No, you I need to like come it. to Texas. My mom I like Texas. I always, I seem to, uh, Texas, I always think is kind of like America plus a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like America mega time. It's like, it's like, Ameri like the big gulp. Do you know what I mean? It's all bigger and better it's in like, Texas. It's, it's like it. the venti America, as uh, Trace Atkins but would see, say. But see, Trace put it, big ass. Just say big, big ass. ass. Don't go yeah. venti, big ass. Yeah, yeah. See, Trace is my boy. He understand. Yeah, see, he made me feel right at home. Well, I don't make you feel at home. Well, it's my job to make you feel at home. I'm the host. I, I kind of... Well, keep working on it. Yeah. Perhaps, 
Perhaps I could offer you some barbecue. You have some barbecue? Why, come on, man. Do I look like I have money for barbecue in this place? Look at me. Mister, you got my hopes up. No, I don't even have nuggets. Well, here. you have bluebell ice cream? Bluebell ice cream? Bluebell ice cream. What's bluebell ice cream? That's something from the South, boy. It's homemade vanilla ice cream. And they don't have that out here. Well, why don't they then? Is I don't know. Please find out. Well, <laughs> Wait, hang on. Yeah. You got a new iPad, didn't you? Yeah, that'll probably have an app on it for finding it. Crikey. Like that? Go ahead and find it out. <laughs> do you like the, uh, do you have the iPad? Do you, I don't have Are you a technological iPad. man at all? Do you do? I am. I got the iPhone. And so I'm still trying to figure out how to work that. Well, the, so. the iPad's just like a big kind of senior version of the iPhone. Yes, you know it is. I mean? Yes, it is. It's just like a, oh, now I can use it and I can That's see it. what the thing is. <laughs> That's exactly yeah, it. So no. I'm not I'm not there yet, so I'm enjoying the iPhone. No, it's all right. It's it's fine as long as you don't have to make any calls. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you can't take a picture on it either. You can't take a picture on it? Uh-uh, not on and maybe the new one, but the old one you can't. I, I got my, the one I got you can take a picture on it. And is that the iPad too? Uh, no, I don't have the iPad. No, I don't oh. have that kind of money. Oh, you have yeah. the iPhone. My iPhone, yeah. Well, see, my iPhone, I can take a picture and video, and it has a flash and a light. Do, uh, do these people advertise on CBS? <laughs> Huh? Oh, we gotta cut that out? <laughs> Huntington Beach? What about Huntington Beach? They have bluebell ice cream at Huntington oh, Beach. Oh, they have bluebell ice cream at Huntington Beach. Well, where at? Where? Yeah. <laughs> Boardwalk ice cream. Boardwalk ice cream. They got the well, bluebell ice cream. We should go probably down? go over there. We should probably do that. Well, then get your stuff. Let's hit it. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what am I, what am I going all the way to Huntington Beach for? Is this delicious boy, ice cream? Boy, that homemade vanilla make you slap your mom. <laughs> it will make you slap your mom. That's, that's, that's big talk. It's big. That's big talk. It will make you slap your mom. I, look, I've had some good ice cream in my life. And, and my, never... mom, my mama loved it so much, she'll slap me back. So, <laughs> it's good. I'm, t I'm telling you, just all try. Right, all right, just I, try. I, I have no reason to disbelieve you, but I, I don't know if I'm prepared to go all the way to Huntington Beach. It's a, that's a good 10 minutes from here, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm yeah. going. Are you living in California now? That's I am living, living in California. In LA? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm between. You know, we shot the show in Providence, so I'm back and forth. Providence, Rhode Island? Providence, Rhode Island, Bubba. They make the TV show in Rhode Island, and, and why? Yeah, because of the look. You know, it's the East Coast look. That's a different look. So it's we, a we hospital can. show. You just shoot it in a hospital. No, everything. <laughs> Everything don't happen on the inside. Oh, yeah. there's outside stuff? Yes. <laughs> Who knew? That's the big time TV. Because that, that isn't real outside. This is just drawing. I yeah. know. Yeah, it is. It's a nice one. That's, not, that's not real outside. I know. Yeah, this is a closet, Shoot, man. They, this they, is a closet. Man, let me tell you this. They expect us to go outside and act with air hitting us. <laughs> You don't have to stand for that. Mm -mm. There's union rules about that There's kind of thing. There's noise. I'm telling you, I have shot some scenes in some cold weather in Providence. <laughs> I'm horrified to hear yeah. that. Yeah, and guess what? In the scene, you're not really in the coat. They just put a coat on until they call rolling, and then when they say action, they take the coat back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I got out of that business yeah, there. there you go. You, you smart. You stay in here with your fake drawing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, it's it's a real drawing. It's just a fake L.A. But then again, well, fake LA LA's is really a, like a fake yeah, well, you know. Yeah, you know. Oh, I do. I yeah. bet you I, do. I, I slap my mother, I know. Mm -hmm. it's Only if it make it worth it. Because yes. if you know my mama, she might right hook you, Bubba. So you make it worth it when you do that slap. I would never slap your mother. I'm horrified at the idea. I know you wouldn't. Because she right. would, boy, I, this, I tell you what, this fake drawing L.A. wouldn't still be up here if you did. <laughs> I'm not even suggesting that I would in any way physically assault your oh, mother, right? I'm not talking about me. Oh, yeah, your mother. Yeah. She would clean this set with you. I don't doubt it. Oh, she would dust you, Bubba. It'd be yeah, awesome. I, 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 I totally agree. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad. But she could uh, she could give me some of that ice cream, though, couldn't she? No, and she'll feed you after she whoop your butt. Uh -huh. that's, how, that's how we do it in Texas. And that seems yeah, fine to yeah. me. It seems perfectly reasonable. Whatever you need her to cook. Yeah. You know, it, it, you're almost describing my first marriage. <laughs> what is that? Is that why you got out of it? Yeah, a little bit. All yeah, right, yeah. then. Uh, I, uh, we gotta go. Do you want to do uh, an awkward pause or a mouth organ? Uh, let's do a mouth organ. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> well, now you make me nervous. No, no, no. All right, you, I guess you know what you're doing. Now, listen, okay. if you can play this thing, uh, you win the golden harmonica. It's only been won four times in the history of this show. Okay. 
But most people can't play. They think they can play and then they no. put it in their mouth and everyone's disappointed. And it's just awful. <laughs> well, and I can't even, I can't even get it out, so I'm really nervous. Yeah, no, no, you'll be all right. Yeah. No more talking for you. <laughs> play it because you shake your hand? Welcome back. <laughs> well, I said welcome back and everybody went... <laughs> Please welcome back to perform Brown Chicken, Brown Cow from his album Cowboys Back in Town. Please welcome to the stage my friend Trace Atkins, everybody. Trace Atkins. Thank you. Godspeed, pussy. 